Hello everybody and welcome back to this Python Basics course. My name is Mihai Saints from Twin Tutorials and in this video we're just going to be covering loops. Loops are Python's way to repeat something. If I want to repeat a set of code over and over, I would use a loop to learn more about the different types of loops, how to use them, the syntax. Let's roll the clip! Hello everybody and welcome back to this Python Basics course. My name is Mihai Sooth and today we will be looking at loops, specifically for loops and while loops. So in the last lecture we made this mini program and if you tried to run it, it didn't work because we didn't have the end statement around this. Now if you run it, you will see it does work. I already know it's 7 but let's pretend it didn't. And it says guess slower, but wait, I'm not done, right? The reason for this is because it's just running this once. We need a loop, something to run this over and over. So for the meantime, I'm just going to comment it with three quotes. So the most basic way of writing a for loop is for x in range. x is a variable. You can call it anything. So for x in range 1 through 20, what range is doing is it's creating a, is it's creating a list with 1 as its first value and 19 as its last value. It does not include 20. So if we wrote a colon and wrote print x, it nicely prints 1 through 19. But as I said, range was just a list there. I can also create, um, let's say, numbers is equal to um, 23, 8.75, because we're not. That should be a point, eight, 23 and 8.75. So if I wrote for x in numbers and I printed it, It nicely prints that. So basically, you don't have to print x. You can also just write range 1 through 20 and do something 20 times. In this case, I'm just going to write print banana. Actually, yeah. And it prints 19 or 20 times. I didn't do the math. But either way, we don't actually know how many times a user is going to do it. So in that case, we will need a while loop. So let's get rid of this, and we can also get rid of this. So a while loop setup can go in two ways. You can either write while and a condition, like um, let's say number is equal to zero. So you can either write while number, oh, while number is not equal to, while number is not equal to three, and then what you can do is number is equal to number plus one, and then you can write print number. And as you'll have noticed, it printed one, two, and three. So this is the exact same thing as writing as writing one to four in the range. But the reason I prefer while loops is because not only can you simulate a an for loop like this, but you can also just write while true. And you may be like, well. True never changes, so this loop will run forever. What's the point of doing this? But the reason I'm doing this is I can write is actually let's show it up here. The reason I'm doing it in this fashion. I'm just gonna put it on this is because now if I write while true, just as shown, 
As soon as they guess it, I sprint, you got it? I can write a break statement. And what this break statement does is it ends the loop. So now this game should work. Not fully though. If I write 34, guess lower. If I write 12, guess lower. If I write 3, guess higher. And if I write 7, you got it. And it ends. Now the only last part to this game is making this number 7 random. Because otherwise, when you get it one time, it's the same every single time. And that would get pretty boring. So in the next video, we will be looking at the random library. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the red button down below to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!